hello welcome to my latest video happy saturday one and all that's the palette i'm going to be using just a plastic one i'm going to be doing something slightly different as you can see i've uh, got a only small cameras 12 by 8 inches but this time i've put an underpainting on it so uh, we'll just see if it works i'm just going to establish the horizon yeah the underpainting is Van Dyke Brown and uh, I've had to pluck up the courage to, do, to use brown because I'm, I'm afraid that um, it's going to be quite dark oh but no already having the brown background has created a lovely uh, tone that is surprising You know, I, I knew a lot of artists use brown as underpainting, but I was always dubious about it, thinking it wouldn't work. But yeah, some beautiful tones going on here. Wow, what a difference. Yeah, it's just experimenting. In my earlier picture, the church on the hill, I used... Um, an underpainting I just uh, used orange and it uh, created created a nice warm feel to the image I haven't got the painting anymore I sold it so I'll have to uh, pop up um, the photograph of it but yeah what a difference that makes yeah I was, uh, I was very worried about using brown but it's worked incredibly well actually and doing an underpainting is um, as the added, added bonus you don't need to use much paint for the other colours colours seem to be a, a battle trying to fill a plain white surface that does uh, work really well. It's created a nice atmospheric um, tone list, if you like, style to it. I do like that. Yeah. Could still go disastrously wrong, but uh, we'll see. We'll keep going. I'm going to plonk a bit of yellow in that distance. is nice yeah I'm gonna be doing underpainting from now on yeah I've had uh, this this tube of Van Dyke brown and I've never used it until now but uh, definitely be using it Yeah, the usual colours I'm using, I'm using Payne's Grey and Sap Green. To the Sap Green I've added a bit of Carmine Red, just to darken off a bit. And uh, a bit of Titanium White as well. Of course that yellow. Oh yeah, I'm pleased. So far, just got my cup of tea next to me, I'll slurp of that. That's better. Apologies. Yeah, um, I'm now an advocate of underpainting. It's it seems to lift the tones a bit better in a clever way really does work wonders makes it far more atmospheric put some uh, titanium white in the sky
Yeah, it's quite effective that. And uh, thank you so much for all of your likes and everything and your follows and things. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, WordPress, Instagram, Twitter and junkit.co.uk. Oh yeah, I'm pleased. Not bad for, well, a little bit of second attempt underpainting, I suppose, but I'd never had the courage to use burn before, but I can see why people use it now. at all. A little bit more anger in that sky. Got a hair there in the corner. <coughs> Usually got stray hair knocking about with uh, having dogs. But there they go. swig of my tea. Yeah, so far so good and already oh, seven minutes in we've got a painting. Just shows how quick you can do it with a bit of practice. I still need more practice but uh, yeah work very quick. I haven't got the patience to paint for hours on end. The best paintings seem to be the quickest, the ones I can do under 20 minutes. Others seem to be the best. Yeah, I do like that sky. Bit more of that titanium white. That hill on the right hand side, that flat plateau, could easily be somewhere like Higator in the Peak District and the hill on the left that plateau just there where my hand is could be Garden's Edge or somewhere like that just painting for my imagination of course my paintings tend to be from the memories of the Peak District bit of a hill now. That could be a uh, loose hill down Hope Valley. It features quite a lot in my pictures. Yeah, reasonably pleased do like underpainting it. I was, I was worried about it at first. With it being brown, you think, oh, it's going to be mucky and horrible. But yeah, it's really made. The tones just pop, just leap out of the picture. Yeah, that can do me nicely. Sorry, just slurping tea again. <coughs> A 
working very fast as usual listening to music with my headphones in yeah um, Garden's Edge in the Peak District I've only ever been up there once I think despite me being in Mountain Rescue but then Garden, Garden's Edge wasn't really our patch Yeah, it's, uh, it's an impressive place, it's lovely up there. Love to go again one day. Yeah, I was quite happy with that. Yeah, Garden's Edge, if memory serves, it's absolutely littered in history. You know, cup and ring markings on stones. It's got burial mounds and chambers and hut circles. I think it's Garden's Edge. Someone might have to correct me. little rocks, perhaps trees up there. Excuse those, uh, I don't know if I'm footsteps, those creaky footsteps picked up on the camera. Apologies if they're dead. It's the bloody uh, neighbours who live upstairs. Don't give anything to live in the middle of nowhere. Away from people, away from neighbours. One day. Yeah, I think we're at the finishing stages, just about. Well, that'll do me. There's a few last details going on. Yeah, I think that is nearly just about dandy. wanting to finish but then do a little bit more I don't want to do too much I don't want to do it to death but yeah I think we're just about there yeah I think that is jobs are good and so thank you so much for watching yeah I'm at it again now let's do a bit more few more highlights so yeah i'm gonna stop now so thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye bye